What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. And today we've got a Patreon request. So big, big thank you to Paul, my incredible patron. And he would like for me to take another look at the Pink Floyd album, The Final Cut. Specifically the song, The Gunner's Dream. Now, I did react to Not Now John from this album as well. Again, thanks to Paul. And that song was amazing. It was so good for so many different reasons. I'm not gonna get into it right now, but I will go ahead and leave my link to that reaction down in the description of this video. So if you guys haven't seen it, by all means, take a look. But yeah, I am excited. Now, I've listened to Pink Floyd in the past, mainly The Wall and Dark Side of the Moon. And yeah, if, if, if not now, John is any indication of the rest of their catalog, I am very excited. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Paul, thanks again. And let's go ahead and get into it. between the heavens and the corner of some foreign field I had a dream I had a dream Goodbye Max Goodbye Mom to the service when you're walking slowly to the car and the silver in her hair shines in the cold November air you hear the tolling bell and touch the silk in your lapel and as the teardrops rise to meet the comfort of the band Take her frail hand and hold on to the dream. God, hit him holding that note, that seamless, like, transition into the saxophone solo. Oh my god. Now oh, that's fucking that's music. That's how you that's how you do that. <laughs> Recalls to the Lord. 
No one kills the children anymore. No one kills the children anymore. Just write off his final scene Take heed of the dream Take heed Whoa. My God, that was powerful. I'm sorry I didn't say a ton during that. I was just, I was kind of trying to take it all in, man. But no, that's 100%. You know, it's 100%. The, you know, the gunner, guy in the front lines of the war. What's his dream? To not have war, to live in a place where nobody kills the children, to live in a place where you can be who you want to be or you can be accepted for you know what you are oh my god man pink floyd just a bunch of anti-establishment hippies <laughs> i really love how good pink floyd is at setting the tone for a song so so early like especially in this one when it started out and you just heard the wind. That was all that you could hear. Before a single note was played or sung, it did not matter. And you were already, essentially already in the atmosphere that they are trying to convey here. And it is so, like, eerily good. But this song though, oh my God, this was, uh... Oh, this was something, man. And really, what a beautiful dream. I mean, who among us could say that we don't have the same, you know, the, the same kind of dream, like the, the perfect society? The only issue is, you know, it's some kid, you know, thousands of miles away in the, in the how, how do you say it, in the corner of some foreign field, you know, dying, having this dream of, of, of his parents being able to exist in this world that is so fucking sad like that is so unbelievably sad and really like this song i swear this album is going to like radicalize me it is ridiculous like just the entire military industrial complex war it's just so fucking cruel and so fucking stupid that we are sending you know these kids these these fucking kids 18 year old kids it's 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 a little outrageous i oh my god man this song this song really affected me in a way that i don't think uh something that i've reacted to in a long time really has like it was it was it was so beautiful but it was absolutely heartbreaking and i i don't even know what to really do I don't really know what to do with myself. I I guess we gotta take the advice of the actual song itself and we just have to hold on to that dream. But even now though, you know, maybe, I, I, I don't know what, but just holding on to that dream doesn't seem like enough. You know, it's, it's, it's not enough to just dream. There has to be something done about it. We have to do something to prevent this kind of bullshit. Because I know this song was probably written in, uh, it's Pink Floyd, so probably the late 70s, early 80s, something like that. And still to this day, 2023, you know, 40, 
some odd years later, and it's essentially the same shit. Eventually, something has to give. I don't know. I just feel like protesting. Like, this is, this Pink Floyd is like my, my, like, protest anthem, uh, evidently. I, I gotta find a good anti-war protest to go to. I gotta hop on Google or something like that. Hopefully they still exist. I don't know. Paul, I don't know if that's what you meant by requesting this to me, but that's, uh, that's exactly where I kind of mentally am after hearing that song. God. Man, that was wild. Well, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wish I had more to say, but that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, please let me know what you all thought down in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you all in another reaction very soon.